Well, growing up in Memphis, I can say it wasn't the easiest thing hearing sirens every day, hearing gunshots. Growing up out there, you had to be on the defense all the time. I didn't realize how defensive I was until I left Memphis. It, it was tough at times. Sometimes we didn't have lights. So for middle school and high school, I went to a predominantly white school. I got bullied for only my skin color. And there was always racist jokes, and it was kind of just something that everyone had to get used to. And whenever I decided like where I was going to go to college, I made sure that I went to an HBCU. I was looking for a completely different vibe, just something that was home. I never felt like my high school, my middle school was home. If I would have stayed at home, it would have been a continuous cycle of me getting into fights and me expressing myself and not people not accepting it. One of the, the most important parts about being at HBCU is being able to be around other individuals with like minds. Because it's kind of hard to thrive in an environment where no one understands you and no one understands where you come from. Being a valedictorian at my high school, I had multiple offers from different universities. What was one of my greatest deciding factors was that Dr. Smith, the president of Langston University ended up being my commencement speaker. And he announced in front of everybody, like, Xavier Smith has a, um, a full ride to Langston University. When I say I had the biggest Chuck E. Cheese smile ever, like, <laughs> you can see my teeth, but you can see the back of my mouth with my teeth closed. I love my skin. Like, my mom has always, you know, told me, like, how beautiful my skin was, my sisters, my dad but I never really believed it, I guess just because of how much I got bullied. And then I got to Langston, and it's literally like, black is beautiful, like the blacker the better, chocolate is amazing. It just makes you feel so loved, like, it's a great feeling. And Langston has been like my safe haven. I come here, I find peace. I don't have to hear sirens, I don't have to look over my shoulder, I don't have to be defensive. Only thing I gotta do is just wake up, put my clothes on, walk out, and just feel good knowing that it's gonna be a better day. As a woman, as an African American, I feel so much more powerful. To those who have given money back to Langston University and have made scholarships possible, like I just wanna thank them because HBCUs are so important and to be able to continue there because of scholarship money, it means a lot. To all the donors, I really appreciate you all. You all have saved my life and many others' lives. By creating this space and giving these funds, you create another opportunity for someone else to make an impact.